Greetings and welcome to Vampire Survivors. I'm Catherine of Sky, and um, this is a game that I saw one of my favorite streamers play, and I'm like, huh. Like, it looks very simple, but this guy, he he's a Path of Exile streamer, and he loves ARPGs and very complicated stuff and, and great games. And uh, I love those kind of games too. And I'm like, why? What? What's it? What is it about this game? So I tried it for myself, and I'm like, oh my god, this is fun. So <clears throat> don't um, don't be too harsh because of graphics, because the gameplay is awesome. It is really, really fun. So we, um, I'm gonna start. This is just my personal game that I've had running. I do not want to restart because I've gotten quite a few achievements and stuff like that. I wasn't intending on recording this. I just picked it up on my own. It's one of these games that I play just for myself, you know. And uh, But it turned out to be so good, I wanted to show it to you. <clears throat> so I have gold here. Uh, this is a roguelike, and um, you... Well, I'll explain as I go, I guess. Uh, so anyway, there is a meta thing, which is the power up button, and you can buy different kinds of things for the game. Like this is raises inflicted damage by 5% per rank, maximum 25%. This one is nice, recovers 0.1 HP per rank, maximum 0.5 per second. Now this one is a bit of a gamble because like, I get that it's going up, but I don't know how much HP the character has. Like, if it's 100 HP, uh, that's much more impactful than 1,000 HP. So I'm not really sure about that one. <clears throat> we also have, um, let's see, greed, 10% more coins per rank. We have growth, 3% more experience per rank. Uh, this one is the one I'm saving for. It's 6,500 gold. Fires one more projectile for all weapons. This is like the duplicator item that's in the game. And then luck. I really should get some of this luck because luck affects many, many things. I looked this up on the Steam, uh, on, on Steam discussions, basically, and I was like, what the heck does luck do and why do people care about it? Because luck is kind of one of these like ephemeral things in games that, you know, have no idea what it does. But according to the developer, there's a pinned post on Steam. Luck does these things. Enables a chance to get a fourth option when leveling up. Options in a random game is always great. Uh, lowers the chance of negative effects. Uh, bat swarms, flower walls, etc. <clears throat> Improves the chance of getting good items when destroying braziers. Uh, any kind of like uh, light sources, destroy those and you get some random prizes. Improves the chance of getting a treasure chest that is different than usual. Normally treasure chests will give you one item. Uh, but I have seen, uh, the, the better one is three items, but I have seen five items one time when I had high luck. I didn't realize that played into it, but I guess it did. Uh, also raises the chances of dealing crit damage for weapons with critical capabilities and quote, luck affects many things. So I really should buy into that. Each upgrade you buy though, it gets more expensive, but I think for me, this is going to be the one I get next. So, um, yeah, let's, let's just play this then show you what this is all about. I appreciate that all of that was very abstract because you haven't seen the game yet. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, you start off, I'm going to start off with Antonio. He's the character you start with and he has a weapon called the whip and you'll see. Okay. And his special attacks deal 10% more damage every 10 levels. And when you start the game, these Many of these will be grayed out or blacked out, as in you have to buy them. They cost money to buy. I think Imelda was like 10 coins, very cheap. And a lot of the others were 100, and I think Gennaro was like 600. He's he's probably my favorite. Permanent plus one projectiles on all weapons, really good. Um, but as you see, they also have an icon next to them. <clears throat> And that is their weapon. So Antonia has a whip. Imelda has the magic wand. Pasqualina has the... The thing I can never remember the name of. It's like a throwing star, kind of. Gennaro has this horrible weapon, the knife. Oh, I hate it. Arca has the fire wand, which is really powerful. Uh, Porta also has... Uh, he has the electric ring, which, like, rains lightning bolts from the sky. Mortaccio has a bone, which is kind of terrible as well. I don't like the whip, but I'm going to show you how to play this uh, if you haven't seen it before. So let's go. Also attacks deal 10% more damage every 10 levels. That's going to be interesting. Um, 
it's going to take a while to get to level 10. Uh, I also have unlocked two locations. So you start off in the Mad Forest. Uh, the castle is a lie, but there's still free roast chicken here, so it's all good. <laughs> I love that. Uh, the inlaid library is much more difficult to play in because the Mad Forest is open on all sides. We live on a, you know, a sphere. Uh, but the inlaid library has walls on the top and the bottom, which makes it more difficult to move around. And you'll see why moving is essential in just a second. So let's start in the Mad Forest. Let's go. <clears throat> I'll show you both in this video just so you get an idea. Okay, so the whip, as you see, has this area that is in front of the character and a little bit above. And so far we're not getting, okay, those little blue things are our goal. They are the XP to level up. And you can see the level up bar at the very top of the screen. I, I don't know why more of these are not dropping these. There we go. So once we fill the bar, we level up and we get to choose stuff. <clears throat> so we have the fire wand, which again is a powerful weapon. It's slow firing, but it's very uh, impactful. Peach one. I think it's peach one. Oh, this is Peachoni. I'm not sure. I think it's like Air Force one because it's a dive bombing pigeon. Um, not dive bombing, but shoots missiles at stuff like a, uh, like an artillery kind of bombards in a circling zone. That's a pretty good thing to have. The uh, freeze enemies is also good. The peach one is interesting because it will hit enemies in random spots in the screen, whereas the fire wand fires from the character out to an area, but it's also random. Let's get peach one. I'll show you what this is like. So you can see the dove just dive bombing. Also, there's a lot of like religious kind of uh, items like crosses, Bibles, because we're after all dealing with vampires. Uh, so that's where that kind of comes from in this one. So here we have this dove of peace or, or something. I'm not sure. I still don't know why it's called peach, but I, I always think of like princess peach or Georgia peaches or something about peaches and shaking the trees and all of that kind of thing. It's an old song. If you don't get that reference, I don't remember the full lyric, but yeah, sometimes I hear it on the radio. So, uh, that bat there, by the way, Oh, whip. Okay. Whip level two. So, I found that the, the best way of doing this is to try and level up the items that always, that, that, um, that you have levels in already. So it would not be advantageous for, for me to take a fire wand. The whip with another projectile is fantastic. So let's get that. Um, it's so funny because like the description of this game on steam says like something like quickly snowball against your enemies. And I'm like, so far I have not had a game that lasted 20 minutes yet. Um, so quickly snowball is not exactly what it is. It's far more challenging than that. So, and if you're wondering about the firing, I am not even, I'm, the mouse does nothing. I'm just moving it across. I'm not clicking anything. All of the attacks are, uh, some of them are in a random direction. The whip, as you see, is around the character. Uh, the only one that is aimable is, well, there's a couple that are aimable in different ways, I guess. The dagger is aimable, but it's only fires in front of you. Actually, I'm going to show you the dagger guy because he's interesting. So what I'm doing here is I am kiting the mobs. Magic wand is great. Peach one though. Let's get another projectile. Let's go. <clears throat> so I'm kiting the mobs to get them away from these, um, these level up thingies. Okay. Swarm of bats. Hello. Hi. How you Oh God, that hurts. Ow, 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 ow. Um, yeah, that hurts. I really would like garlic because garlic is like a bubble of safety around you. Oh, Clover. Let's get some luck. Let's get some luck and see if that improves our, improves our run a tiny bit. But see, now that I have the second projectile on the whip, uh, it hits stuff behind me. So I don't have to be facing the direction of the mobs which is kind of nice. Now, the other thing you want to do is go for these braziers in the landscape. Anything that's light, like in the, in the inlaid library, it's the candelabras. Uh, oh, we got a freeze thing. That's nice. Cool. So it freezes all the enemies for a time. I'm going to just take this opportunity to go up here and grab some stuff. Also that boss died and gave us a chest. So anytime you kill a boss, they will give you a treasure. Now this is a regular treasure chest. Uh, like we talked about, you can have three items. You can see three beams of light coming from this thing. That is going to be the, uh, the higher level chest. We got another clover. Cool. 
chance to get lucky up by 10%. So now we have 20% uh, on the clover. One thing that I really wish um, was uh, was in here. Let's see. We got armor, attract orb. Attract orb is really nice. Lightning ring is also really nice. I think I'm going to get the attract orb though, because that really impacts how you play the game. I stopped briefly there because it feels like I'm getting a tiny bit of lag, which is not normal with the game. Like there's some like lurches, as you can see in the video. I don't know if it's because I'm recording or what, but um, anyway, that's not normal for the game. And I was like, what's going on? But I can't find anything. So please bear with me here. Uh, okay, let's get Clover. And anyway, as I was saying with the Attract Orb, uh, you no longer have to get so close to items to to make them, you know, to collect the uh, the XP see if we can get this uh, nice thing here. Nope. Ugh. Try to time this stuff, basically. Time the uh, weapon effects there. Yeah, it's weird. It's like, it's like stuttering a bit. And I think it's because of OBS. I don't know. Um, I've like closed everything else. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. <clears throat> so apologies for that. But the normal game is smooth. I just want to tell you the normal game, if you choose to get this game, is smooth. Also, this game is extremely cheap. Check it out on Steam in your local currency. It was less than $5 for me. I think it was either $3 or $4, something like this. So it's at a very nice price point. And already I have played it for several hours. Now, if you've watched my channel for any... Oh, oh, that's why we want braziers. The food. That's HP right there. All right, let's get Peach One again. Uh, or maybe we should get the King Bible. Hmm. I'm torn because, like... Uh, I want to level this up to start the snowballing thing. By the way, if you like Risk of Rain, it's very like that. Uh, the whole, like, collecting more of each type of thing and it gets better and better. I really loved the first Risk of Rain. The second one is kind of different. It is different. Um, so anyway, let's go back up and get those chicken dinners. Oh, there's Peach One doing work. Check that out. Wow, nice. So... Let's go there. Let's do the things, all the stuffs. So anyway, I'm kind of like just kiting in circles because as we see, Peach One is, is kind of like hitting stuff in the middle. So we kind of have to go back and get that XP whenever it is. Oh my God, the stuttering is so bad. What is this? So sorry about this. I may have to just re-record this episode. I hate doing that because like when I record, oh, here we have whip base damage up by five. We're not actually doing a lot of damage with the whip. So I'm feeling like let's get the cooldowns down by 8%. That's a nice thing to have. Also, here's a flower wall. Uh, the thing that luck is supposed to prevent more of, which is okay. We're already at level 9 and only first flower wall, so that's pretty good. These flowers are tanky, tanky things. Uh, and um, basically the easiest way to get out of here, and we could get out of here at this point, uh, with using um, some HP, basically damage boost outside. Uh, we have also those mantis things. <clears throat> those are also bosses. Okay, crown. Ooh, 7% more experience is pretty good. I'm really not keen on getting the damage of the whip up. I don't care because we don't hit much with it. The only thing that's really nice about the whip compared to other weapons is... It does hit an AOE area. You can see it. It's quite quite nice. And we're just like, okay. So let's see what else we get in here. You can also find like some of the level up items. Um, well, not level up items. I should say if you... Um, there are items that you can get by achievements. And those are like survive five minutes with X character or Y character. There are other ones like to evolve weapons to their furthest point. And by the way, look that up. It isn't as simple as just leveling them up. You need to have multiple items in your inventory. I think the peach one, for example, you get peach one to level seven, then you need a clover or something else. And then you have to open a chest. And it's like, that is super complicated. Uh, but there is a guide on Steam, by the way, for that, which is super handy. It is in that pinned post on the Steam um, on the Steam discussions. 
The, the post is called Starting Tips and FAQs. Oh, oh, yay, whip. Mm, and 60 money. Money's good. Remember, that's where we needed that 7,000 to buy the uh, extra projectiles thing? That's where that comes. That's a lot of playing. <laughs> it is a lot of playing. So I would recommend just kind of like getting characters that you try out. It's really fun to just like explore the game on your own. I did not use a guide in any way. The only thing I looked up was how to evolve weapons. And that's already after I've been playing for several hours and stuff. Because the achievements are listed both on Steam Achievements and in the beginning uh, of the game. There's a button called Achievements. And you can see what uh, is required to get them. And all of the achievements seem to have an unlock of some kind, whether it is you unlock a character or a, um, a type of... I'm going for that. Oh, God, no. Ow, that hurt. Bye. Uh... Okay, treasure found. Another regular treasure chest. <clears throat> um, so character or weapon or um, other item. Oh, God, a whip again. Jeez. Well, maybe we'll get to the whip to level seven because level seven uh, gives you another unlock. All right, fine. Okay, what do we have now? Crown XP gain. Peach one. I kind of want to do this. Fires another projectile. Cool. Cooldown reduced again. Oh, chicken dinner. Tasty. There's another one up uh, north. I want to just kind of look at some of this stuff here. Let's see. Help. Oh, this is ow. This is really ow. Come on, peach one. Oh, there's a cross. <gasps> no! Okay, so if you find this crucifix and pick it up, it will unlock a thing called the cross, which is an item that is... Um, it, it's a weapon. It's a new weapon. It's pretty cool, too. Cross is like a boomerang that hits, goes for the nearest enemy. So in that way, you can kind of aim it. Uh, okay, so we have our results. We didn't actually have very many weapons this run. We had two, and we can see that Peach One did the most DPS and damage as well. And you can also see the time, like how long we've had each weapon. And um, so that gives you an idea. Like there was one time where I was like, we started off, I started off with the th throwing star character, which maybe I'll start with that one next time. Uh, and I was like, oh, this is so weird. I don't like this weapon. And then when I got to the final page, I'm like, wow, did damage. Holy fuzzy cats. So it made me choose that weapon in other runs because I was like, okay, this, this may not feel like it's doing much damage, but it definitely is. We have our gold earned and all of our different buffs are here. We had three clovers. Wow. That's tons. Open three chests, had four chicken dinners and... Uh, one that was the freeze thing, I think. And then one of these, the pink bags of money. So the gold coins are worth one coin each. The pink bags are worth 10. And then there's a rainbow bag, which is worth 100, which we haven't seen yet. Okay, let's start with another character. Imel, I like the magic wand. That's a great weapon, by the way. Imelda is very cheap to unlock, so it's a nice thing to have. Pasqualina starts with this thing, which I can never remember the name of. Projectiles get 10% faster every five levels. That's pretty cool. Let's go and choose Pasqualina again. And we'll go into the Mad Forest again. Actually, maybe we'll go in Laid Library. I'll I just want to show you this area. I don't think I'm going to do very well. I haven't practiced very much. But there are... The problem with... Oh, 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 watch out for those. That... Look at that. Half my health d gone already. This might be a very short run. Um, but anyway... This uh, this projectile just goes through enemies and it looks like it's bouncing off of things in the furniture, which is why I thought taking this into the library might be a good idea because there are hard surfaces in here. Okay, garlic. This is take it every single time. Re damages nearby enemies reduces resistance to knockback and freeze. So sometimes uh, you'll have weapons with knockback, and if you hit it one with garlic, it will reduce that. It creates this zone of safety around you. It is great. So these guys aren't completely... Uh, they are getting hurt by this, and this is one of the weapons that you can definitely aim uh, just by virtue of walking around. Rune Tracer, that's what this thing is called. Jeez. Uh, I'm going to take the garlic, actually. Uh, even though I need the rune tracer unlock, I'm taking the garlic. Uh, we get some more damage. There, The bats on the other area, 
the forest, those will die. You can just walk through them, literally walk through them. And, and I love getting those bat swarms because you can go through the bat swarms and just walk and you get so much XP. Now, we haven't seen the laurel yet. I want to show you what that does. It creates a blue shield around you. See them around my characters. There's like a blue bubble. Now that, when it's on, and again, this is a game of randomness here. When it's on, that means you will get, uh, you. well, you, you're, you're impervious to damage. But it also turns off. So let's see. Garlic. Yep, let's go. All the garlic all the time. We love it. Again, garlic is because vampires and yeah, all the things. So this, we kind of have to walk in a little bit like so, sort of oval. Sometimes I go in like figure eights almost. Like here, I'll go down again. But yeah, this garlic is so helpful in this area. I think we're seeing the, the health improve because of my global unlock for the health uh, thing. Uh, let's get the rune tracer. I would like to do the cross. Uh, also, the armor is good. Let's see. But I do want to get this rune tracer. I don't have it at level seven in the achievements. So maybe we'll try for that and see if we can get that going. I doubt we'll get to level seven on this map because this map is so hard. Like those bookcases at the bottom, those are a wall. You cannot go down further than that. So a lot of this is like very, very avoid enemies kind of situation here. But anytime you also have these candelabras, this is uh, the garlic is also great for those because you just walk over them and it kills them. Now, those little green things that go up and down, those are killed instantly by the garlic so that you're good on that. So we have the Pumarola, which is character recovers 0.1 HP per second. Uh, we can also get a whip. Um, that actually might be good. Let's get that whip. With some of the side things like the pickup radius and stuff, you don't necessarily have to stack those. Those are kind of like, I just take them as needed kind of thing. Okay, let's go through here. I do see the health improving because I don't think we've gotten any chicken dinners in this one yet. Ooh. Okay, let's keep going Rune Tracer, level four. That's really nice. Garlic is doing a lot of work here, as you see. But also the Rune Tracer is not too bad. Oh, we got something there. I think we found a Clover just then. I don't think that actually counts into your items. I think it's just the unlock for the Clover. So if you pick up extra, you won't like get access to it. Like in the last one, if we had picked up that cross, I don't think it would have added, it, it, would, it didn't, it wouldn't have added a cross to our character. It's just the unlock for it. Okay, well now we have options. Santa water is actually really good. Lightning ring is also really good. I think I'll go lightning ring just so you can see what that weapon is about. There is a character that starts with the lightning ring, if you remember. So let's just go here. This is another boss. So we're going to try to stay close and kill it. Of course, you can't aim stuff. That's. I think that's one of the fun parts about this game is that there's not too much going on in terms of like, you don't have to choose aiming or positioning or whatever. You just are positioning and that is your job. So it feels quite fun to play because it's not overwhelming and it's, it's still difficult. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but it's not like horrible and it's, and it's really very satisfying to play. I'm not sure what it is about it, but it just feels good to play it really does. Okay, oh, Whip only has one projectile. So that's a bit rough, but trying to kill this boss here. It's like a mummy or something. Okay, Garlic, wow, base area up by 20% again. Oh, no, we have the thing, Duplicator. This is my favorite weapon in the game because weapons fire more projectiles. They get one more. So on everything, so you'll notice my, uh, my Whip now has both sides. Um, we have more rune tracers going around. Uh, this is great. Great times here. Really great times. Keep pushing this back and try to get a little bit more XP here. Okay. Uh, guy dead. Let's get the box. This is very like winning a slot machine in Las Vegas or something. <laughs> Okay, we got a Laurel, which is nice. That's the thing that shields us. So cooldown reduced by half a second, shield and vulnerability increased by 0.2 seconds. Uh, yeah, it's very ARPG numbers there, like partial seconds, you know? Okay, lightning ring, another projectile, that's cool. 
of course, a crown will let us level up faster. Wings, I, I'm going to take the wings because it's never a bad thing to move faster against these enemies. It's if you have to move through them, <clears throat> it's less damage taken, all that kind of stuff. Rune Tracer, let's go. Level five. Cool. Damage is up on that one. And I'm hoping we can get to level seven. You know what? I'm going to pause real quick. And I'm going to look at the, the guide. So Rune Tracer, to level that one up, we need... Um, <clears throat> can I level it up? No. Oh, shoot. Okay, so Rune Tracer cannot be evolved. All right, that's what I was looking for. So I was just looking at that guide on Steam to see if it can't... I guess it can't be evolved. Most of the weapons can, so that's really strange to me. Uh, augment Area of Attack... Uh, by 10%. I believe that's re basically AOE up by 10%. So that would affect... I don't know if it would affect the Rune Tracer. Like, as in make it wider? I don't know. Um, it would definitely affect the Garlic. So that's a thing. But we could get Lightning Ring and other projectile. I feel like that's better. That's like literally doubling the Lightning... Well, not doubling because we do have the, the thing already. The... Um, the mega bonus from that already. So <clears throat> just gathering XP is our game here. We're already at level 14, which is kind of great. Whip another projectile. Garlic, let's go. I believe that garlic also has an achievement for getting to level 7. So I'm hoping that we just have enough weapon damage for just to get through this. Let's get these guys. Yep, we can just literally walk through those. Skeletons are also feel like they're walkable through. I'm going to try to just target this boss. So you can see that he's getting quite knocked back by the whip. Oh, here we go. Rune Tracer level 6. Nice. Base damage up by 5. Wow. This is looking good. And again, we're not... We can't choose where that Rune Tracer is going. Please give us something... Really? We still haven't gotten an upgraded chest in this run yet. Also, I feel like the game is running better. I don't know what... I restarted Discord. Discord might have been eaten the memory or whatever, so. 92 monies is great. Base area up by 100%. Damage up by 10. Yay. That's really yay land, so cool. And as we see that uh, Lightning Ring is doing damage, you know, it's just kind of like doing these random areas in the... Th oh, we got a fourth choice. Hey. I've never seen that happen, actually. I'm going to go Clover. I'm going to go Clover. So, uh, Skeletons, we can't actually walk through right now. Wow, we're doing good. Rune Tracer, level 7. We just got another achievement. So, I'm gonna, I'm, I was hoping I'd get an achievement during this recording. Oh, okay. I'm just going to grab all this stuff. Let's see. Lightning Ring, sure. I probably should have taken the clover there, but I am always keen to try to get achievements. Like maybe we could get, you know, lightning ring to level seven. I don't know if that's an achievement. Some of the weapons do have the level seven, some not. Oh my God. I didn't know you could get more than one duplicator. Yeah, let's go. I'll take it. Jeez, this is so great. Holy fuzzy cats. Yeah, this is... Oh, 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 bomb lady. Bad, bad. Go away. We don't want you. Oh, okay. These weapons are a little bit more tanky. There's a... Oh, cool. So crucifix there. It didn't give us a crucifix weapon, but it killed everything on the screen. So those are nice. Definitely always worth seeking out the candelabras. This is the best run I have ever had in this zone so far. But see, we're only six minutes in, though. So we're not, like, super far... Look at that, all those rune tracers bouncing there. If any enemies were there, they are not anymore. Too bad there weren't any. That was rough. But even these enemies are not horribly tanky. Ooh, I'm going to go for these green things. They look more killable. Yay. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Let's get stuff. Let's go. I'm going back left because that's where we had our main killing zones before. And there's probably a lot of XP around here. Yeah, there is indeed. Oh, oh. 
Okay, knocked her back with the whip. So that's a good benefit that I hadn't really thought about before, is that maybe it's worth taking a whip just for knockback, uh, because whips does seem to do that. Also, I should have left that chicken dinner out, just in case um, we just wanted to... Uh, we had Like right now, we could have used it. Before, our health was full, so it didn't give us any benefit at all. Okay, let's get... Oh yeah, sure, let's go. Let's get more stacking on the thing that we are just... Look at how many rune tracers are going around the place. It's nuts. Okay, there we go. There's our food. Those green things are getting bigger. That's a bit scary. Like, huh? Also, garlic is struggling a tiny bit on these monsters. So we have to be very careful. We can't just plow through things. We've got to be careful about like how we navigate these areas now. Just be real gentle about stuff here, or delicate, whatever. Oh, that was a hundred money bag. Did you see that? Rewind the video if you want to see it. It's uh, it's basically rainbowy looking. Getting all the XP. I'm glad I, I didn't. I take one XP thing. It's the crown. Uh, also, I would wish. So, in the vein of um, rain. Oh, it does show here, but it doesn't show. I wish I had a number, like. On the there's a, a thing in the upper left corner that shows what items you have, but it doesn't say the number of them, and I would love to see that. Okay, so let's get another garlic base damage up by two. Sure, we'll take it. There are also like universal base damage upgrades, like plus ten percent on everything, so that's quite nice. But always worth getting that base damage up so that can affect the other percentage thingy thingy. Oh my god, look at this. I'm going to keep that chicken dinner there. Oh, this is so great. Okay, AoE, 10%. Clover? Maybe Clover, sure. I feel like we're doing so well in this game here. Alrighty, so much XP over here. Look at how, much, how nuts this is, the amount of XP. Wow. Okay, garlic. Sure, I'll take that at level 7. I think we just got two achievements in this run. The yay is real. Okay. Just gonna try to go vacuum cleaning. Continually working our way to the right. More garlic. Sure. I'll take more garlic. Why not? Base damage up. There, red thingy. Red XP usually comes from a boss. Oh. I think Lucky is good. Let's keep on vacuuming. Let's go. This is probably the best game I've ever had. Like the most deadly game I've ever had. Let's get the lightning ring. Uh, see if we can get that to level 7 again. I don't remember which ones have that achievement and which not. Uh, but level 7 seems to be like the, the max number that you're supposed to get other than, of course, uh, getting a, um, getting them evolved. You know what I'm going to look up? I'm going to look at that Steam page real quick and see if there is, let's see, um, let's see. I'm going to put it on the side monitor so I can see all of it. So what do we got here? Lightning ring. Can we level that one? No. Garlic? Yes. Garlic plus the pumarola. So we're looking for a pumarola. Um, right. Uh, pumarola. What else do we have? Knife, whip, uh, lightning ring is not on the list. So we need a pumarola if we can. But for now, let's get the garlic. Oh, okay. Nice. Empty tome is also nice. Oh, that looks like a high-level enemy. Give us a Pumarola. Come on, thing. Uh, let's get the Laurel. I think that would be good. That looks like a high-level enemy. It's very unique looking. But I want to save it and see if we get a Pumarola. Oh, we may not be able to. Wow, level 30. I've never gotten a level 30 ever before. That's nuts. So when it's talking about the weapon cooldown, like my garlic is going to fire faster whenever it hits stuff. That's one of the benefits of that. I'm going to keep trying to stay in line with this lion thing and see if I can just, uh, oops. Okay, there we get a chest. Open. 
please, Pumarola? I don't know if this chest can give you new stuff, but you see, this is an upgraded where it has three beams of light. And the max I've seen so far is five. Maybe there's more. I don't know. Okay, whip, lightning, and wings. Cool. I'm liking it. Great. One more projectile. Cool. Let's see. One more projectile on the whip as well. And then... That one's kind of like more above your head, I think. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So with the whips, it's always good to stay underneath enemies. All right, I'm just going to kind of go around back and forth again and just, again, vacuum here. Clover. Sure, we'll take a clover. We'd love to get a fourth option on those upgrades. Oh, that's chicken dinner. I'm going to leave it. Oh, boy. These are, these are upgraded. Those like mini lion heads. Holy fuzzy cats. They're got to be careful around them. The small green ones are almost walkable through, but the lion heads are not. So I'm just got to be careful. Just be very careful. Don't want to lose this run. I want to get to a 20 minute run. I don't have that achievement yet. Oh, look at all the fun stuff on the bottom there. That's where all those candelabras come from. Peach one, laurel, additional charge. Ooh. Uh, I still, still think Peach One is good. This is a great area also for Peach One because there's always stuff on the sides, it feels like. I feel like being on the bottom with the whip is a really good strat because it just knocks everything out of the way. But I'm trying to like also get all the XP that's everywhere. Because it's just everywhere. It literally is everywhere right now. Pumarola, here you go. All right, I'm going to try to evolve the uh, the garlic. Let's see if we can kill this um, this bat up here. That's a, that's a boss. We know that's a mini boss. I'm not sure if there are big bosses, by the way. I have no clue. Uh, apparently, the thing is to survive till dawn. I don't know if that's um, that might be what what 20 minutes is. I'm not quite sure, though. Just want to get this thing. Let's kind of back it into a corner here. We're whipping it. We are hitting it with our uh, thing. We're just doing our best to kill it. Again, I don't know how much HP these things have at all. No clue. But we're literally stood still and we're killing everything on the screen. It's kind of great. Come on. Come on. Give us a chest, please. I've never evolved any. And it didn't give us a chest. No. Oh, sad times, man. All right, well, let's pick up all this XP while we can and see if we can spot another boss. Let's go Clover. I'm hoping, I really, really want to evolve this. I've never evolved a weapon before, so I'm like, please, game, give it to me. I want to try this. Oh, there, that looks like a boss. Hey, how you doing, dude? Let's get, let's get him going. Maybe this time I'll try to collect XP as I'm getting the boss. Lightning ring level seven. Peach one is also uh, levelable, but I think the lightning is good. Base damage of plus 20 is huge. I could not resist that. That's just like massive, man. I wanna keep him in my AOE of this garlic here and also uh, on the screen, kind of where... Oh, let's grab all this stuff. Also, what is that thing? I always forget what these special ones are. Oh, this is the thing collector. This is great. I love this. All right, let's go attract orb. That's nice. Lightning ring is also good. Pumarola is also good. Laurel, a charge. Eh. Let's get the Pumarola. And the attract orb. I should have, maybe I should have gotten the whip damage. That would have been okay, especially for these directed attacks against like these bosses and stuff. Oh, okay. Don't get in my, don't get in my circle, dude. Not okay. Here we go. Hopefully we can level this. Please let us level this thing. We have two Primorolas and we have the thingy there. Oh, 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 new symbol. I've never seen it before. Oh, did we get the thing? Please, Soul Eater, Evolved Garlic, Steals Hearts, Power Increases when Recovering HP. Holy fuzzy cats, this is cool. Oh my god, wow, that looks dangerous. Hey. Okay, what else are we going for? I guess we've had so much whip here. 
Um, also, but pickup range, hey. Pickup range is great because it enables you to stay further from the enemies. Soul Eater, holy fuzzy cats, it's cool. But we need a dinner, we need food. Let's get food, there's a food, okay. Let's go, power increases when getting, okay. I wonder if that works with the Pumarola or not. Like, is it constantly like charging because we're getting HP? I don't know. Oh, and here's our, our stats. I, you know, I've never noticed this. I don't know why. I'm always so focused on the, the options. Uh, Laurel, let's see, additional charge, attract orb. I think Pumarola. I definitely think so. More HP is never a bad thing, especially in a game like this. Oh, there's a boss. This one seems to be doing damage. Where did that boss go? There it is. Okay. Keeps just like zooming and zapping across the screen because of this knockback. It's a bit nuts here. Okay. Man, garlic OP. I swear, garlic is good stuff. We now know. Okay, there it is. We keep hitting stuff. There we go. Oh, we didn't get a chest from that. That's unfortunate. We have a new boss though. That's nice. I'm going to just collect some of this XP and then come back. Oh, okay. All right. We got to be a little bit careful here. Lightning ring, another thing. Pickup range. I think we go lightning ring here. Definitely want the lightning ring. Wings. Uh, let's go wings again. And we get more stuff, apparently. A uh, whip? Eh, I guess so. Sure. Um, also, now I feel like my pickup range is a bit too much because I didn't necessarily want to get both of those chicken dinners, but I did want to get the, uh, the money there. Also, look at the money. 932. Like, when you first start this game, you're like, oh my god, 7,000. I'm getting, like, 20 per run. How the heck? Kind of thing. Let's go whip. Maybe we get the whip uh, also evolved or something. Something. Okay. Alrighty. But this is going to be one heck of a run with the stats, I have to say. Really pretty exciting here. Oh, there are new enemies. So whenever new enemies appear on the screen, be very, very careful because... They may not be easily killable. <laughs> they really may not. And these are quite tanky compared to the others. Let's go, Peach One. Yeah, those are definitely not dying nearly as fast. Uh, keep going, Peach One. Again, that's another one that I want to level. This is an absolutely insane run. I love this. this. I love this feeling of being OP. But yet you're not completely overpowered because stuff can still kill you. Like, you know, I, we've had HP dips uh, often. So, oh, two bosses. That's fun. Nice, 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 nice. I'll just go for this one since that one is our... We've killed it the most, I think. Looks like something is critting. So the um, having that luck... Uh, the extra luck is helping. Oh, what do we got here? Let's look. Okay. So Peach 1, I need Ebony Wings to evolve that. Unfortunately. Also, I need a Hollow Heart to evolve the Whip. That's relevant here. So we don't have... Oh, I forgot. Oh, we got another Peach 1. Nice. So I don't even... I don't have the Ebony Wings unlocked. I have no idea how to get those. I'm hoping maybe they're from this Soul Eater thing because it's dark. So maybe that... Maybe? I don't know. kind of want to make my way to the right because that bat is now hiding in here. But also we have so much XP on the right that I have not been able to access for a bit because of all of the enemies here. Oh, those are dangerous. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, that's a good one to have. So knockback on this level is not a bad idea at all. So hollow heart is what we're looking for. Cooldowns reduction. Sure, let's do that. Cooldown reduction. That is a great idea. Yeah, those mini bosses. Oh, there it goes. There we go. There we have some chest. Some chest. Yes. <laughs> that That's English. Hello. Welcome, English. 
Okay, we got uh, Pumarola again. Nice. Probably another point 0.1 up on the, uh, yep, there we are, level 4. So now we're getting 0.4 HP per second, which is, oh my god, we need it now. Holy fuzzy cats, what the heck happened there? I think I just didn't see where I was going, apparently. Jeez. Time to find some candelabras. Really needed right now. Oh boy. There they are on the left. Let's go Pumarola again. Because I need it. I need some dinners. There's one on the left there. I can see it. Oh, there's several on the left. Oh, beautiful. This is nice. Okay, the whip. Let's get that one up. Since we can't evolve the peach one, I'm going to have other things of more importance to us. Just like prioritize other stuff. Let's see, we're getting those green XP. I'm not really sure how much the other XP things are worth. Whether it's like two times or five times or what. It doesn't seem to be a lot when you look at the bar and pick one up. Like I've tried at lower levels of XP and it's like, okay, that seems kind of underwhelming. Uh, okay, let's go to the right. Try to make our way to the right a bit here. But yeah, definitely is like getting a bit... It's much longer between levels, obviously, but also these enemies are a lot harder than they were. I feel like, oh my god, we should have enjoyed the XP more earlier. Oh, didn't want to pick up that dinner, but that's okay. Uh, it would be hard to avoid it, actually, because of the narrowness of the corridors here. But anyway, we are still managing. It looks like there's a boss on the left there. Okay, things got a little bit easier for whatever reason. Okay, let's go, let's go. Also, I was going to say earlier when we were having the stuttering problems, um, as you can see, it's moving perfectly smoothly right now. Um, when we were having that issue and I said I don't want to re-record it, it's mostly because like I forget what I tell uh, in the video. It's like, huh? Okay, so whip is happening. We need a hollow heart, which I don't think we're going to get before we kill this boss. But we'll see. Yeah, XP is getting a bit hard to. It's 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 one of those like, "Huh, we need we should get one of those XP boosters, you know?" <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, boss. We have two bosses now. Maybe we'll get... Maybe we'll get what we need. The hollow heart. I don't think you can get stuff that you haven't gotten before, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's just that I've never seen it. I've never seen getting a new item from a chest. At least not that I'm aware of. Let's see. Oh boy, these are damaging, so be careful about those. What do we got? I'll try to get more XP before killing the next one. Okay, we got another whip. Hooray. In quotation marks. Okay, base damage up. That's all right. Not too bad. Not too good either, but yeah, not horrible, horrible. What are those? Oh my god, that's scary. Those those things? Jeez. All right, Peach One. We still... I think there's an achievement for getting it to level 7, even if you can't evolve it. So that's good. Wow, this is a bit scary slightly and hit that monster every now and again had a lot of dinners down there but also some coins that's why I mainly got the whole lot I skipped that dinner because we don't need it maybe I can get another level before I get that boss it's kind of what I'm going for here but yeah, I, there's there's this kind of a freedom in playing this game where you don't have to shoot. Like, a lot of bullet hell, like Enter the Gungeon or something like that, requires you to do many things at once. Okay, well, we got the Peach One achievement then. Uh, but unfortunately, no Hollow Heart yet. We need that Hollow Heart to evolve the whip. I'm really curious as to what that's going to be about. So also, this should be a really good... Oh, also we got the 20-minute achievement. Cool. Never gotten that before. Um, yeah, this should be also a uh, an example that 
you don't need to to play the high level characters to have a great run this is like literally the second character that you get in the game she's already unlocked she just needs to be bought for money i think and again i think she's like 10 gold or something so even if you destroy 10 candelabras you don't even have to open a chest to get her um yeah you're, you'll be okay oh Okay, this is what we are wanting. Let's go for that boss. There it is. Boss with flamethrower. Totally good. Okay, well, we didn't get it completely dead. That's unfortunate. But there's many, many bosses around here, it seems like. We've got this, the bat on the right. We've got this one. Let's pick up... Oh, my God! Oh, we almost died. Oh, oh scary times. Holy fuzzy cats. Okay, let's see what we get here. Laurel, okay, that's good. Man, I wish that Laurel was doing work early. We have two bosses here, three on the right, one on the left. Okay, we really need to be extremely careful here. Uh, again, those Pumarolas should be working, but <laughs> they're not very fast. They're very slow, so at least we got that. That's good. Oh no, those aren't bosses. Okay, those are just regular enemies. Maybe I thought they were bosses because we didn't see them earlier very often. All cooldowns reduced. That's cool. That's a great one. Oh. Go away, things. Too much. Too much. Help. Oh. Again, we need a hollow heart. Where is this hollow heart? Give it. Give it, thingy. We want some. Also, the, the whip has gone, like, wild now that we have, like, seven thingies in it. This is a tiny bit nuts. Okay, this is, like, the very first run that I've been, like, super confident. Most all of the runs, like, in the other areas, they end with the, uh... <gasps> no! Oh! Overconfidence and just plowing through enemies. Bad KOS. Very bad. So we unlocked a Spellbinder. That's a new item. Oh, we got Poe. All right. Pentagram. Cool. 500 gold coins for Evolving Garlic. Fun. Wow. Four unlocks in this run. Okay, so here we can see the DPS. Look at the Rune Tracer. Massive, massive DPS. We've had the Garlic. Let's see. The longest thing we had was a Rune Tracer, of course. But the second thing was the whip. Look at this huge difference. It's like seven times the difference, even though we had it almost the same amount of time. The next thing was a lightning ring. As you can see, that does damage. Uh, peach one, not so much damage. That may not have been the best thing. But look at the soul eater versus the garlic. I guess we've had uh, nine. So we've had the garlic for four minutes and the soul eater for nine minutes. But you can see the difference. So twice this would have been, you know, 40k as, as compared to 110k. Though, of course, you know, the mob density is up as well. But still, I feel like the, the Soul Eater definitely is a lot of good stuff. So, I mean, a lot of a lot more damage. Definitely a lot more damage. So DPS. Also, we have the DPS. 24 DPS versus 189. Uh, Rune Tracer is so much damage. Oh, my God. <laughs> so good so so awesomely good uh all right so i want to do this episode has gone on really long so i'm thinking i'll just stop here and maybe start another episode and i'll have like two episodes of this or maybe more i don't know depends on how crazy i am i love this game i'm really excited about it so anyway we can click done and then we go back to the beginning and this is straight out of like, I don't know, the 90s or something like that. But it's such a good game and it's fun. So again, here's the achievements where you can see the checklist of stuff. Uh, Peach one to level seven. Wait, didn't we get that? I could have sworn we had. Oh, I could have sworn we had that. No. Find a stone mask. I never found that before. Let's see. Uh, let's see. What else do we need here? Oh, defeat the Nesuferit in the Inlaid Library. I can't see the top thing. Defeat the giant blue Venus in the Mad Forest. Okay, I haven't seen that yet. Evolve the whip, involve the magic wand, knife, axe, 
cross king bible fire wand unite the ebony wings and the peach one which is basically the uh the other achievement and find a stone mask peach one to level i could have sworn we had peach one at level seven that round oh well it doesn't matter game says we didn't so we didn't so anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video uh thank you so very much for joining me um i'm really excited about this game and pick it up it is such a good investment for your money uh it's very very cheap as i said check it in your local currency it was less than five bucks for me and so far it's provided me many hours and you guys know that i i i get bored with games quite quickly if they're not satisfying to play so this one i've played for several hours already which says a lot so Check it out. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.